कोलंबी जो धुलो र जाम को मार्च मा वे यात्रा सुनो Bus is stuck on the way. So the 6 a.m. bus dropped us at Arkhit at 3:30, and from there we took another bus and it dropped us here at Soti Kola. Uh, it took one hour, so you can hear the rumbling of the Soti Soti Kola River, and it's drizzling, and it's just lovely. So day one starts with tequila. just look at this landslide this is some scary shit you lose a foot and you'll never find your body again it'll fall so dark deep down into the gorge so this is very risky stuff very exciting <laughs> So we've reached Jagat after a very tiring day all along the landslides, all along the river. The rooms here are clean and good. So this is the first resort that you will come across as soon as you reach Jagat. Hotel Windy Valley is an excellent restaurant with lots and lots of food choices. A couple of guys got lost today and we had to wait one and a half hours at Ghap. And they return back with lots of bruises, so it's important to stick together. So this is the evening of day five, and we have found a nice place here in Namrung. So there is a hot water bath available and a nice fireplace going. So it's a beautiful place, as you can see. So these are the rooms. Small cozy rooms, double beds, and tonight seems like a lot of fun with some locally brewed alcohol and 
fireplace, yes. So today is day 6 and we have come at low at around 11 a.m. in the morning and this place is around 31, 3200 and on day 6 we have finally been able to get a view of Monashlu but it's hidden behind the clouds now. Yucks! Yaks of Salah. Ah. Ah. So it's 4.45, 4.15 sorry on day 6 and we are near Samagao. So this village that you can see, let me just adjust the focus. Okay, this is Samagao. So this is a horse farm. Hundreds and hundreds of animals grazing in the foothills of Manaslu. Yaks and horses. Wow, so they are across the ridge as well. So when you look at Samagao, it gives you a glimpse of those Chinese villages that you see in the movies. And it's a very big town, like it's stretched. You can see the smoke coming from the chimneys and it's stretched even higher up. So there are hundreds and hundreds of houses here. Samagao, the best we have come so far. Day 6, Manaslu. Today is day 7, <coughs> day of Katastavana and we are at Samagao. This is the early morning. So in the morning we've got very clear mountains. So this is the other side of the mountain. Let me just show you. Beautiful view. You can see the glacier there. And the first rays of the sun has struck the peak. So after a 45 minutes hike from Samagao, we have come to a beautiful lake. This is Birendra Tal. It's a glacial fed lake. So you can see the water coming down right through these rocks into this lake. So, Raza Ghatastapanama. Tal ko chhoma hi raas hoon. Birendra Tal. Re Tal bogera. Ye ta khola ma mission sa. Re yehi khola ko tiri tiri ami firi amre main route pakar sa.
already and we are on top of Samdo second last stop before Dharmasala so this is the way that we came through all along the river and Samagao is no longer visible in the foothills of the mountains a nice valley Bolly with a mati pass for me to give him. We started, we started, and you are kids. Some no more honey, 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 Protect your head. Ensure that you have warm clothes. And your head is protected with woolen caps. So we are 15 minutes from Dharmashala, and this herd of mules and donkeys has interrupted us. They are my friends. Last camp on a trek. After this, we cross Larke Pass tomorrow and we start our descent. So it's 3 pm now, 2 hours, 45 minutes from our lunch at Sambo and we have made it in pretty good time. Dharmasala has airtight rooms, excellent warm rooms, joint beds, tents are available too and there's a wide variety to choose off the menu as well. I come this morning, smile with the rising sun, three little birds, please by my doorstep. Singing sweet songs So it's 6.30 in the morning on day 8, we're crossing Larkela and it's been one hour since we left Dharmasala. So all along the way, there are these poles. So these show the way 
up in the high mountains. So if you ever get lost, find your way to this nearest pole, this will guide you. So this real juice in 5000 meters is real gold. So I'm going to show you what it's like walking at 5100 meters. that cold but it's chilly the more you climb up the more difficult it gets some of them are there so these are the mountains someone is right down there there's some more guys you can see them lots and lots of people that's where we came from down 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 the valley the sun is up so these are the mountains right beside us Larke La adventure of a lifetime beautiful too beautiful frozen ice Larkila So it's 9.30 and it's taken us exactly 4 hours to get here This is the top Larkila Pass So now we have crossed into Manang. This is the Himlung Glacier that you can see. Beautiful glacier. Himlung Glacier. So you can see that there is a nice cloud cover now. This is the reason you have to start very early at 4, 4 so it's chilly up there now it's getting <laughs> chilly down here also so it's about 12 so that's the way we came down from uh, downhill walks I find it more treacherous than uphill and I'm going to show you the place the first place where you can find water or tea after crossing Larke so we cross Larke at 9.30 and it's about 12 noon now. So we are on our way back to Bintang and you can see the cloud cover. It suddenly become very cloudy. Hopefully it won't rain. That's the town of Bintang, we are nearly there. One hour walk from there. It's a beautiful town, you can see. So it takes us about 30 minutes to get there.
राज लोकल कुखुरा डिनर में सब बिम्थांग में हम रहे हैं बाइले मस्त लोकल कुखुरा बनाई दिन आटे के सन So today is day 9 and we are at Bhimthang and it's very interesting because on this side you can see the sun on the peaks of Annapurna and other mountains. So this is where we came from and so on this side are the beautiful peaks of Manaslu. So we are surrounded by big, big mountains on both sides as you can see. As the sun is just hitting the peaks. This is where we stayed last night. Today is day 9, the last day of our walk. This town is just like a set from the movies. Beautiful. Today is day 9 and we are beside a beautiful spring. So we are on our way to Dharapani, through the jungles, we have come down all these jungles. Mountain water. So lunch time on day 9 we have come to Surki Khola for lunch midway to Dharapani. So this is probably what Jimi Hendrix famously referred to as purple haze. This whole route is littered with plants like this. So day 9 we are on our way to Dharapani and this is a field full of marijuana ra ami tilje bhanne thau nera aipugeko chau yaha bada motor bato ko track pani khuleko cha gaadi chai yahi samma aundaina ra phone network pani 4 din pachi aaja balla pakdiyeko cha so it's around 6:30 or more than that we are on the roads uh, the landslide areas as you can see barley drink and it has given me enough stamina <laughs> to go way beyond the back it's pitch dark as you can see we have our head torch on We're promoting local business at Dharapani day 10 the last day of our trek so we have reached a point where there is access to vehicles, we are going to catch this back home. This is going to take us till Basis Har. They are loading a ship into a truck. Let's hope the ship does not mess up our luggage. 